Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So as we're continuing to build our uh, destroyed building, which is a bit of an irony, the next step we want to take is we want to destroy some windows. Now in an explosion, everywhere around the area is going to have a few destroyed windows. And there's a few ways you can go about that. You could either create these shapes, these little black shapes that denote that there's blackness behind it. And you know, from this close, it doesn't look that good. But if you go to much smaller, then it'll look better. But we're going to take it to the next level. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out pieces of the foreground image so we can see behind the background image. And as you can see, I've got plenty to work with. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to access one of our lasso tools and we're going to take one of these windows and we're going to cut it out. Just mask around it. And just press and hold command and press X and the window itself is gone, but the pieces that were there are still there. It's pretty awesome. Just keep doing that. And you get this wonderfully realistic effect. Let's try it with a full window. And there you go. It's creating this amazing effect that I will keep using and using and using. And if you notice, the more that you do it, the more realistic it will look. So try to keep it random. Feel free to use different tools like quick selection, which can create different effects. You can get rid of things more easily and it kind of creates different forms of chaos. So that looks pretty good, I gotta say. It adds even more realism than before to our, to our building and how it's been destroyed. So in the next video, we're going to take it to another level and I'm going to put a hole through a building.